Using the power of the bracelet, Kite defeated Scathe. But instead of rescuing his friend Orca from the coma, Kite's victory actually led to the birth of a new frightening enemy, Kubia. Kubia. Leos, the system administrator at CC Corp, viewed Kite's behavior as potentially dangerous. I am Leos. Kite was determined to do whatever was necessary to save his friend. Then the situation would not have deteriorated. You not only did but to Balmong, who represented average players, and to the you system administrators, to the ones who maintain the world, the power of the bracelet was nothing more than a cheat. In other words, an illegal engine mod. Them. But aside from that, to take immediate action to prevent the situation from worsening, it requires that you delete your character. Delete it? Why? You should know that your character violates the software usage agreement. Installation of an illegal effect. You do know what I'm referring to. I will delete you. Wait a moment. However, Kite's character was protected by powerful defenses. And even the system administrators were unable to cancel his account. Right here and now. No way! I wouldn't do that! I know. Since you aren't stupid. The stupid one is this pig-headed man. You don't even understand how it works. Yet you'll delete it before finding that out. Or do you even possess the ability to delete it in the first place? The boy's character data is so well protected, the system administrator can't even crack it. In spite of the fact that you developed a vaccine and disguised it as a rare item, deleting those you cannot control is something that a pig head would do. Thanks to some help from a hacker named Helba, Kite was able to escape surveillance by Leos. Hold on! Wait, what do you mean that you don't? Intrigued by Kite's powers, Helba told Kite of the relationship between Orca's coma and the Epitaph of Twilight. The Epitaph of Twilight was an epic poem that spread around the internet and inspired the creation of the world. The author, Emma Wheelett, was no longer alive, and the poem fragments had been scattered all over. So the true nature of the poem was the subject of much debate among players. Although, if the design of this world was based upon writings in the Epitaph of Twilight, it should provide you a clue. Forget it. Leo. Yeah, what? 
the code name given to a system administrator. Were you remotely aware that it's the name of the King of Light that appears in the epitaph? It is? <laughs> Following the instruction of Leos, Kite set out to investigate an area infected by a virus. It? That thing is the cause? <laughs> That's where he defeated the second phase, Innis. Scathe, Innis. Yes, this was exactly the Morgana factor that we were researching at Project GU. After defeating the second phase, Kite found one of the segments Aura had been divided into and liberated it. Following this, Kite made his way to an area Aura had told him about in an email, where he encountered Kubia. its power, Kite was able to fight off Kubia for the moment, believing that freeing Aura was the only way to solve the mysteries that had been plaguing him. Kite redoubled his efforts. It was remarkable. Kite, this lone young man, was attempting to do by himself what we, the members of Project GU, had spent countless man hours and huge amounts of money working towards. No special knowledge, no help from anyone. With only the strength of his own convictions, this young man, this kite, pursued the mystery of the epitaph of Twilight. To that end, Kite contacted an information broker, someone named Wiseman. From Wiseman, Kite learned about the epitaph of Twilight and the eight phases of the Cursed Wave. He went to visit an unauthorized server called the Netslum. This was a place within the world that wasn't part of the world. A kind of gathering place for hackers, rogue AI characters, and other types of junk data. Are you looking for Helba? Huh? Yes. It so happens I briefly heard from her recently, the epitaph of Twilight. To sum it up in a nutshell, it is a tale. Or to elaborate further, it is a saga that recounts how the Age of the Spirits came to an end. The tale of an end? Indeed. However, the texts are scattered. Even if found, they are extremely difficult to comprehend. Yes, it'll be a very tricky business. So, 
Hey, uh, there's something that's been bothering me. The people around here, they all look so different from anybody I've seen anywhere else. This place was once where all of the unsuccessful non-player characters drifted. Sort of a sanctuary for failures. Then players who considered them amusing came up with their own variations of failed characters. Now the boundaries between player and non-player character is quite indistinct. Some of them simply don't know which category they fall into. There are maybe even those who have lost their bodies on the outside. Mere memories, faded reminders of the individuals they once were. Only their character data remains intact and active as they wander the network. Yes, the same fate as Harold. Hacker's Paradise. It was there that Kite reunited with Helba. If anyone could be called the creator of the Net Slum, it was Helba. In the Net Slum, Kite learned more information about the original creator of the world, Harold Hewick, and his goal. He also learned that at the heart of the world exists another consciousness separate from Harold. Just then, Balmung and Leos appeared. Epitaph of Twilight. Both of you have succeeded in reaching it as well, I see. Oh, look. We have an unusual and unexpected guest. As a representative of Net Slum, I greet you. Welcome to Paradise. Oh, <laughs> You sided with Leos, I see. You cracked easily for someone who was so sure of himself. Don't judge! I'm not like you! Stalking the boy is shameful behavior. You've disgraced the name of the descendant of Fianna. What? Bomo? You used us? It was necessary. To restore order. Order. There's an order that the world desires, and then there's the order that you desire. Which form should it take, Balmung? The order that I desire, of course. Feature performer. Now all of the actors have assembled. Quit your yapping, woman. You are entities that unquestionably pose a grave threat to this world. I'll delete you all. Oddly, Leos was the name of the King of Light, mentioned in the uh, Epitaph of what Twilight. Did you do? And Helba was the name of the Queen I of Darkness. This is her duty. During Leos and Helba's confrontation, another Helba. strange phenomenon occurred, this time in Netslum. It was the third phase yes. Magus. The situation took in a sudden ways. turn. This world Once again, with the power of the bracelet, Kite was able to defeat Magus. But another problem was awaiting him. The town that had had its data destroyed. <laughs> 